often than not, I have such appreciation for my life that it gets clothed, cuffed, and I don't know how to feel it all, how to allow in all the beauty. Can I actually, calmly, hold it? It usually turns into anxiety or tension. As I remember, I learn. I learn to relax more and more. This is the master class. I will be authentic. I put on a type of mask in the public eye, on social media. I play a character who mostly knows how to feel all the appreciation. And don't get me wrong, she is me. I am her. By playing in this way, sharing this way, I further align with my true character. If I know one thing about myself, absolutely, it's that I am a storyteller. I know that everything I create and align with is happening to me, for me, through me, for the sake of story. I am a type of manic pixie fairy, a type, yet not nearly that shallow of a trope. I am a true dream girl. I am familiar, very familiar with manic states, the highs and the lows, the density, the contrast, feeling all levels of feelings. Both polarities usually get caught in some level of anxiety or tension. We are all stretching, all alchemizing, transforming to be the vibration of the middle path, the neutrality point. I want to be a calm pixie fairy, a relaxed pixie fairy, a grounded pixie fairy, a completely new title, a new dream girl. Last week, I embraced the trickster, the fool, and the slightly manic fairy. I learned so many lessons. I know the potential of my actions, the ripple of my actions. From all polarities, I had to go for it, unapologetically, unconditionally. I knew I would get exactly what I knew. I am beyond appreciative of all the gifts, reflections, and presents I received. Money, stories, friendship, support, annoyance, judgment, guilt, silence unconditional love. I saw myself in a new way, from a new angle. I love her, and yet I see her slightly trapped in her trope. Are you truly grounded? I ask her, no, not all the way. Are you fully in integrity? No, not all the way. In what way could you be? Calm, relax, be, see the view, ground, feel the awareness, the true appreciation of the now. Allow all the appreciation to ripple through you. See, know yourself anew. I had thought my joy my passion was to leave my normal human restaurant job, to throw myself into that reality, because that's how I play, that's how I learn, to see me from a different angle, to see in perfect, unconditional love the parts that are out of alignment, that are remembering, allowing, appreciating the balance. I am still wanting, needing, the experience of mastering the center point, the neutrality, the relaxation, the calmness. I've aligned with so much in my life this past year, so much to appreciate, I can barely breathe. Relax, lovely manic pixie fairy. Breathe and be, breathe and be. So as this new me, she knows she was already exactly where she needs to be. 
honoring her process, her beliefs, her integrity, allowing in her strength enough to appreciate the now. Only then can the character get to the next chapter in the story. Do I fully believe that in this now, if I were to throw myself from the cliff, I would fly? No, I don't. That's perfect. Do I believe I am capable and in the process of mastery? Yes, absolutely. That's perfect. So here comes the plot twist. The trickster needs to trick herself to relax enough to play the true fool. The manic pixie fairy develops her self-love deeply enough to alchemize the anxiety, to use it to calm, to appreciate where she was all along. For this scene, for this transition, for this now, a full relaxation into integrity is required. That is the joy. That is the passion. A full relaxation into the true appreciation of this frame, this now, and my ultimate dream girl.